This data set contains the health insurance premiums for 36 people who were in their late 20s in 2014. You can check out the previous video on how to construct a cumulative frequency distribution table for group data. We're going to construct a cumulative relative frequency polygon. To construct a cumulative relative frequency polygon, draw a graph, class boundaries will be labeled on the x-axis, and the cumulative relative frequency will be labeled on the y-axis. Looking at the class boundaries, we can see that there are five lower class boundaries plus one upper class boundary at the end. So we will use six marks on the x-axis to label the five lower class boundaries plus one upper class boundary at the end. Notice the cumulative relative frequency is always between zero and one. So using 10 marks on the y-axis going from zero to one will be enough to label all the cumulative relative frequency. There are no frequencies before the first class. So on the x-axis, mark a dot right on top of the class boundary at 113.5 to indicate that the cumulative relative frequency at 113.5 is zero. For the first class itself, going from 113.5 and up to 148.5, the cumulative relative frequency is 0 0.28. So above the first class upper boundary at 148.5, mark a dot with a height of 0 0.28 to indicate that the CRF is 0 0.28 for the first class. For the second class, going from 148.5 and up to 183.5, the cumulative relative frequency is 0 0.64. So above the second class upper boundary at 183.5, mark a dot with a height of 0 0.64 to indicate that the CRF is 0 0.64 for the second class. Now connect the dots. Notice the cumulative relative frequency polygon will always start at the y value of zero for the first class boundary. And it will always end with a y value of one for the last class boundary. If you want to know what proportion of people who pay less than $150 for the health insurance premium, simply go to the x-axis, draw a vertical line where 150 appears to be until the line reaches the graph, and then draw a horizontal line to the left from that point until the line reaches the y-axis. This is the percentage of people who pay less than 150 for the health insurance premium. If we want to know the health insurance premium that people would pay at the most in 70% of the cases, simply go to the y-axis, draw a horizontal line where 0 0.70 appears to be until the line reaches the graph. And then draw a vertical line downward from that point until the line reaches the x-axis. This is the price where in 70% of the cases, people in the late 20s would pay for the health insurance premium. Based on the cumulative relative frequency polygon you have copied on your paper, what is the proportion of people who would pay less than $235 for their health insurance premium? Did your answer match my answer? 
even if our answers don't match exactly, our answers should be very close to each other. Assuming we both made the graph as neat as we can using our hands.